Sora Gray. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Poro. Would you like some tea? No, thank you, mademoiselle. I find it hard to digest. It is not the right time. No, so, so, both. There is something elegant about her. The dragon, the dragon! She has good taste, except perhaps in a choice of jewelry. The deceased gave it to her, Please I guess. Excuse me, I have to take care of Lady Clark. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity to question him. Hastings does not like very hot tea. He's going to blow on his cup for a good while before drinking. Yep. Now, time to talk. My brother's wife is gravely ill. You will probably want to question her, but I fear that it won't be possible today. Of course, I understand. Someone set a trap for your brother. Who was familiar with his habits? Everybody knew he took his evening walk at half past eight, and that he always followed the same path. Everybody, including you? Naturally. What were you doing last night? After dinner, I went to my bedroom. At eleven in the evening, the telephone rang. It was the police. I went to look for my brother. Was it a dark night? It was a new moon. I took a lantern. So it was you who found the body? Yes, along with the gardener. Have you seen any strangers around the house recently? No. As far as I know, nobody has been near the house. Oh, Lady Clark must have fallen from her chair. I have to help Miss Grey get her up. Hastings, while our host is gone, let's examine the drawing room. But, Poirot, a gentleman shouldn't... I take full responsibility. All you have to do is to leave the drawing room door ajar and let me know if anyone is coming. I'm not going to leave now. Mm -hmm. Oh, the dragon. Turtle, the dragon, the crane, and the tiger. I think I've already seen this motif somewhere. Yes, we have. I got a problem with that. Simple. Dragon right here. Which must mean that somewhere in here is a tiger. A horse. Circa 210 BC, 
purchased in Hong Kong, 1930. There are some very valuable objects here. Sir Carmichael's collection could rival that of a man. It's slum. And of course. Cardinal points. This book could maybe help me. Each cardinal point is associated with one animal and one color. In the middle sits the impaled dragon, and out of respect, all the others are turned towards him. Each cardinal point. Yes, yes, yes. Turtle, the dragon, the crane, and the tiger. I think I've already seen this motif somewhere. Obviously, all the animals should be facing. Right? At. And come on, there we go. Which means you should be looking that way. You should be looking that way. Much, much, much. of each motif is correct, but they are not turned the same way as on the table. Uh...
right so they are correct spots but Okay, uh... The position of each motif is correct, but they are not turned the same way as on the table. The position of each motif resembles that of those on the table. Okay, let's try you guys back to here. 